My name is Terry Hofford, and this is a series of flaws. As part of my mission to normalize normal bodies in the photography industry, I'm going to be focusing on how to help our clients heal their relationships with their bodies by giving them an amazing experience and beautiful images that will help them correlate that this body helped them do something amazing. Most photographers are taught to see their subjects as a series of flaws to be avoided, but I think we can do better. Hey everyone, welcome back to a series of flaws. This time I am talking with Miss Hannah. We are here today um, and we are going to talk about um, basically asymmetrical chest, I guess is the best way to talk about it. I like Because when you uh, applied for, for this, um, you even said you're like, well, like to most people, like I still fit the beauty standards for the most part, except for this. Um, and it's not really a disability or anything like that. However, it is something that's not shown a lot. Um, and Jill and I were talking about this actually on the way to the studio today. It's like we are under so much pressure, regardless of what your boobs look like, um, that they have to be perfectly round and like very specific. And so that would be something that is not seen as often in the media. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so tell me a little bit about like kind of how that impacted your self-esteem or body image or things like that. Um, growing up, I was always super self-confident. I got confident. I got confident. Um, no, uh, conscious. Um, did the stuffing, all that fun stuff, just to keep everything even. I remember when I was in like sixth grade, it popped out of my shirt and I was mortified and uh, you can't really explain to sixth graders like I'm really uneven. It's I'm not stuffing mm -hmm. to make them bigger. I swear. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, it wasn't until college that I really came to accept myself, and so I struggled the whole time. I had silicone fillers that I would do because I'm quite uneven. I have an A cup and a double D. So okay. it's a vast difference. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, it. You can't find the right clothing. Bras are really hard to find. I was gonna say like bra shopping. Jill actually, she said she used to work at Victoria's Secret, um, and then that would be something like you basically have to tell people like if you want to wear this bra, then you have to like put something in it, like to make sure there's no gapping or right. things like that. Which obviously it's like thanks, like <laughs> right, <laughs> like uh, and I like I I it sounds like I always turn it back on myself, but like even as a plus size woman, that's what happens when you go. They're like, well, you could do like I don't want to buy something for me to go have have to like transition it later like yeah. uh like why do i have to do that and it can make you feel very like isolated that way and like mm -hmm. that the world is not set up for your body um and things like that so then what kind of was like your your moment of like you know what fuck it this is just who i am and like um college i really just stopped caring i stopped wearing makeup i stopped i was just like you know what i'm just gonna be myself and my partner actually had a lot to do with it. Okay. Um, she loved my body and loved it as it was. I always talked about maybe one day I'll get a change, I'll do surgery, just make them a little even, maybe take this one back and do, she's like, but why? Like, I love it. Like, yeah. you're unique, you're special. Why would you change that? Oh, why would amazing. you risk yourself? And it really, that was a big turning point for myself. It, that definitely having me. a supportive partner that way that's always kind of called you on your bullshit a little bit and it's like <laughs> stop it that's a dumb thing to like talk about you know and they're like i would love you regardless of what you like that's just a small piece of ourselves but when the rest of the world is like focused so heavily yeah. on that one thing then we become very hyper focused on that one thing exactly. um but then the people that love us see all of it and they're like it's just part of you like stop right? stop that um so yeah so then tell me a little bit about why you were interested in doing this project and obviously um, like the boudoir industry as a whole like what I do here all the time I get women talking about like their chest it doesn't matter what their chest looks like they're like they're not big enough they're too big um, they fall to the side they're lopsided they're not perky like everybody seems to hate their chest uh, and it doesn't matter who and I'm like okay that's tells me that it's probably not boobs at all, right? It's literally just like there's some unobtainable standard that everyone's trying to achieve. Um, so yeah, so was so tell me a little bit about why you wanted to like come on to a show, kind of, <laughs> to like to like talk about that a little bit. Yeah, um, I just imagined myself as a little girl and having someone say, you know, you're beautiful, it doesn't matter. And boobs are so hyper-sexualized. Hyper, hyper sexualized, and it's not fair to women or 
trans women that we have to have this expectation of perfect per perky boobs and it's just not reality that's not what they're meant for and yeah it's not what they should be viewed as yeah and i find it interesting like your partner's obviously a woman and uh, mm -hmm. and so she's like yeah obviously don't be dumb whereas men are also fed the same visual of what women should look like yes. which feeds into their ideal of what a woman should look like mm -hmm. um whereas we're on the other side of it being like obviously they, we can look like whatever we want but like but there's still so much pressure so that yeah. um so yeah so it's interesting to see that uh, like thankfully you have a supportive partner and I'm sure there are men that are supportive regardless they look past all that right. but the unfortunate reality is is that men are also fed this ideal stereotype of what women should look like yes. and then and then they treat their partners accordingly uh, depending on how they themselves are secure in their in right. their cells right so mm -hmm. um awesome so today what we're going to be doing is a little different than how i normally shoot boudoir um we're going to be actually doing some studio lit stuff with the backdrop and whatnot a little fan in the hair give a little bit of that action um but we might still do some boudoir stuff because she's got a really cute set so maybe we'll just transition a little bit to that as well um because it's really beautiful and would look really nice on this set because it's like fall colors so i like that <laughs> all right so yeah so let's get to it all right all right so today i'm shooting with my canon 5d mark iii i'm going to be starting with the 24 to 70 millimeter lens but i'm probably going to switch over to the 70 to 200 which i usually use when i'm shooting studio work um just because it gets it allows me to crop in closer but um yeah it's just better for this kind of stuff i think so rarely do i bust out my light um so i'm going to talk a little bit about it it is the palsy buff alien b uh, 800 and it is literally the only light i've ever bought really um the one that's been with me the longest i'm not a technical shooter by any means um so really i just pointed at my people and hope for the best uh yeah and with a big ass softbox on it so that's what we're doing today uh and the other thing is usually have a trigger so I can move around a bit more but our batteries died so we've got the old cord going today um, now the sound quality is going to change a bit here because I am going to turn on a fan so feel free to like turn down the sound on your on your headphones or things like that uh, just because it might get real noisy okay okay we're going to have ankles together and you're going to put all the weight to your back hip so the front one kind of pops forward and let your tongue go we're gonna kind of push our bum back just a little bit here. This hand's gonna come back and just still resting, but just kind of pull the shoulder back. And then you're gonna turn, I'll be over there somewhere, flitting around. Uh, and then just looking at me, and then I'll say like, look down, look to me, you can have the hand in the hair. Uh, when you close your eyes, you're gonna feel like you're gonna wanna tip over. So open your eyes at any point so you don't tip over. Because <laughs> it is, I can see people always like tilting in the camera. I'm like, oh, come back. <laughs> But yeah, so to start with, uh, and then with your hair, I'll get this end if it comes into the hair. We want to go on top of the hair. A lot of times people naturally will go under, but then your hand disappears. Which if you didn't have a hand, that's fine, but you do. So we want to see it. So then we'll go on top and just kind of like, yeah, this is just how I stand sometimes looking cute. Okay. You know how you do it. Just like you do at home. Same thing. Beautiful. Let's do it right there. This is where I always have to crawl under here. Take one tiny scooch this way. Beautiful. Or just relax the shoulders a tickle. Beautiful. And the hand that's on your hip, just kind of relax the fingers a little, like only see these these. Yeah, beautiful. Actually, that hand to sleep down too. Look right here. Gorgeous. Look down on that shoulder for me there. Beautiful. And now back to me with your eyes. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's the cool. Yeah, sometimes I can be held accountable for what comes out of my mouth. I can be held accountable for the laughing. So. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> for this. I'm like, after shooting for five years, I've come to realize that that's bound to happen with me. It's like, I just say inappropriate things and it's fine. All right, so with your hands now, we're going to take your right hand. Our feet are going to be the same, popping. Our right hand's going to come under the chest and just rest on the elbow joint. And then this hand's going to come and rest over here. And we're going to roll the shoulders back. But I want you to look that way for me. Yeah, beautiful. Stay right there. That's gorgeous. Beautiful. And now turn your chin to me a tickle and look right here. Yes, stunning. Eyes closed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now look at one, two, three. I can see you tilting backwards. <laughs> Just hold on. Oh, yeah, I can see that. I'm like, there she goes. <laughs> I felt I went in the eyes. Okay. I'm like, yeah, she's gone. No, just kidding. All right, perfect. I'm going to 
grab a stool here. Alright, so what I'm going to get you to do here is I'm still going to get you to sit facing this way. We're going to take your right foot slightly longer than your left and we're going to tippy toe. So this is normal sitting. <laughs> That's what I would like to see. This hand again can just rest here. I might get you to pull the elbow back. I'm, uh, depending on what I'm shooting, I'll have to see what it's been looking at the light. And then this hand kind of comes forward on the knee, leaning forward a bit more. Like, oh yeah, this is just how I sit sometimes. Look at that windblown hair action with my hands. <laughs> it's all tearing on camera right I now. I feel it. <laughs> I was like, they're like, <laughs> it's a look. <laughs> all right. <laughs> But it feels so nice, it's nice and cool. I'm like, oh yeah, that's beautiful, I love that. Oh, this is so cool. Let me turn my camera on, always a good place to start. Stunning, yes, beautiful. Now look that way for me. Gorgeous. With your right hand now, I want you to bring your hand kind of to your left shoulder, and you're just gonna kind of drag it across your collarbone, eyes closed, chin up, deep breath. Beautiful mouth open a tickle, gorgeous. That is beautiful. This I like. Good job. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say if I didn't like it, but <laughs> let's be honest. Are just silent if it's not? I'm just like, mm, no. this. No, I, I wouldn't do that. Don't worry. All right, pop it off of there. Uh, 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 so portraits, really, I literally don't move my light around too much. I really just keep the light the same and just have them move a little bit. For this next one, I'm actually gonna turn off the light and just use natural light for here because I have windows off to the side and it creates beautiful moody lighting. Just to have variety, nothing else. All right, so I'm gonna get you still standing facing this way. Kind of, you don't have to like as arching as much because I'm shooting about waist stuff. Okay. Um, with your hands, we're gonna bring the straps off the bralette. So you're gonna hook them up. Oh, oh no, I'm not today. <laughs> so you're gonna hook the straps, bring them off the shoulders, but then you're just gonna kind of like rest your hands on your boobs. And then you're gonna do a chin up, uh, up a little bit, looking that way. Once I see where the light is, then I might say like, turn your chin towards me, or turn your chin a bit more to the window, it just depends. Um, bam, that's what we'll do. All right, so we're turning off the light. The light is off. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna come with your strap down a little bit, because you got this beautiful tattoo. Beautiful, so chin that way, gorgeous. Beautiful. So, uh, if you just stay there for one sec. So what I'm looking for here, I don't know if you can see it on that on the video, but I'll show a photo, is the light that's coming over the side of her face and across her chest here and everything else is gonna kind of fall into the shadow for more of a like dark and moody portraity Facebook profile pic, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. We'll see if she makes it her Facebook. <laughs> that's on her, not me. Beautiful, now chin up, eyes closed, deep breath. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna get you with your right hand again. We're gonna bring your thumb under your tattoo and just kind of move the hand back and forth. So with your, oh look at your fancy nails too. So yeah, so if you reach across and then you can just kind of have your fingers up on the shoulder and then just kind of like run the thumb back and forth. Yep. Yeah. And look down to that shoulder. So I'm gonna move your hand a little bit. Really fancy nails. She wears a also. I love it. <laughs> They're so colorful. Beautiful, just like that. Gorgeous. And now, look this way for me. Beautiful. So I'm not much of a detail shooter usually, but if people have really cool tattoos, then I hope you like your tattoos, by the way, I should have asked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, usually I'll ask, because sometimes there's tattoos that they don't like, and then I'm like, ooh, it's so cool, and they're like, no. <laughs> but I figured that's a good one. I'm like, it's, yeah, I, I feel like know thyself is not something you stop knowing, like stop wanting to be reminded of, I feel, right? <laughs> Perfect, all right, so that's probably good for this here. We're now gonna move over to the more boudoir-y traditional kind of stuff to mix it up. Um, so yeah. All right, so we're going to be backlighting her now with the curtains here. Um, we kind of did this in an episode with Mika, I think, but it was more to show the dark and moody. This time we're just gonna blow the shit out of the background, basically. So mostly the focus is on her and everything else just kind of goes away and how you can use the light to kind of like shape a body or like just make her look angelic as fuck, basically. <laughs> 
So what I'm gonna get you to do here is I'm gonna have you come stand facing me over there. You're gonna have the ankles together. Now everyone has one hip that's a bit easier to sink into than the other. So whatever that one is for you, go that way. You're standing like this right now, so I would assume <laughs> this one. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. So what you're gonna do here is you're really gonna sink into it. And what you can do, you're not gonna sit on here, but you can just like kind of push your thigh back so you don't tip over. <laughs> Notice the theme here. I don't want people falling in my studio. <laughs> So then what you're going to do with your hands, you're going to take this one down a bit lower, this one a bit higher, and then I'm going to get you to turn your chin this way and then like lift up like, oh, I'm just an angel. Thank you. <laughs> As I do. And then once I see where the light is, then I might change it a little bit, but essentially that's where we'll start. Okay. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Beautiful. So then we're looking this way. Gorgeous. Eyes closed. Mouth open just a tickle. Beautiful. Those sheer, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there she, mean, that's there <laughs> she goes. <laughs> that's okay, beautiful. Push your bum back just a tickle if you can. Yeah, you got it. Now chin down to your right shoulder a smidge. Yeah, beautiful. Stay right there. And if I say tilt your forehead to me, does that make sense? So your chin's gonna be here, so just, yeah, exactly. And then chin up a tickle right there. That is stunning. Is everyone else excited about this? Because I am. <laughs> Beautiful. So now what you're going to do is turn to face me. You can let go of the curtains. Turn, turn, turn. If you want, oh, excuse me. <laughs> if you want, you can take uh, one leg and just kind of bring it in front. And then you're going to, when I start shooting, you're going to come up on the tippy toes, but then just drop down when you like start losing your balance. With your hands, I'm getting you to bring them into the hair over top. So let's bring it forward on both sides. Got all that beautiful hair, so we might as well see it. So we're gonna go like this, and then you're gonna kind of bring your chin up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Like you're walking away from the window. <laughs> like you did at home, you know, when you're walking away from your window. Beautiful, and then you can set back down. And then one more time, and push up with that hair for me. Beautiful, and you can set back down. And this time what I'm getting you to do, you can just keep on your feet if you want. <laughs> and just kind of move the hands down, feeling your face, feeling your chest, feeling your body, love it on yourself. Ready, give her elbows back a little bit, yep. Move down, give the body some loving. Feel the boobins, give the tum some loving. She never gets love, so. We need to make sure doubly. <laughs> Beautiful, that's gorgeous. So what I'm gonna get you to do meow, meow, is we're gonna turn and face the window. This is kind of a booty shot, so you might wanna give yourself a wedgie. <laughs> or I'll do it for you, so. <laughs> That's what some people are like, all right. <laughs> yes, this is where we are now. So what you're gonna do is you can use this to kind of like lean up on. I always forget that I'm taller than most people. So I'm like, yeah, just like reach up real high and they're like, here. <laughs> So wherever is easiest for you. Okay. So si similar to when you were this way with the crossing, we're gonna do a similar thing here. And, but you're gonna lean your chest in so your bum can come back towards the camera. Does that make sense? Yep. Then once you're like stable, <laughs> then this hand I'm gonna get you to bring down and just kind of like cup under the bum cheek a little bit. And then okay. you're gonna look towards the temple over there. <laughs> like, What's going on today? <laughs> All that good stuff. Okay. It's a good calf workout, that's for sure. That felt nice. Oh, I was so ankles together as much as you can. I'm gonna give you your wedgie. Are you ready? Yep. Whoop. Ta da. It's a free service I offer. <laughs> <laughs> included. Exactly. Wedgie's included. All right. Beautiful. Yep, that's gorgeous. So, all of this is backlit. So, what I'm doing is I'm exposing for her. So, everything behind her is going away. And by getting down low, it's going to make her legs look super long as she looks out the window like she does at home. <laughs> Beautiful. You can relax. Good job. She will now. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I'm always like, eee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. So we're gonna now shoot against here. This is something that I do with all, like basically all my clients, to be honest, they usually use this wall. Um, because it's beautiful for where we were shooting here was like making things very light and bright. This is gonna be the opposite. We're gonna make most things quite into the shadows and use the shadows to kind of just paint the body a little bit. Um, it just gives, again, variety. I'm all about variety for my clients, so. So what I'm gonna get you to do is you're gonna come on over here. We're gonna start by facing this way, but then you're gonna turn. 
So your hips are kind of facing well, the light or the pillar that way. You're gonna pop this knee for me here, and then you're gonna arch that butt back. <laughs> so your left cheek can rest on the wall though, so you don't tip off again. <laughs> So while your hips are going this way, your chest is going to go this way, that's where I'll be, and then your head is going to go this way. So we're basically contorting you into like three pieces. Perfect. Turn yourself around, you're going to rest the hokey pokey. <laughs> then with your hands, what I'm going to get you to do, we're going to more of your hair actually to the left if okay. you're okay, if you're okay swapping your part around a little bit. Beautiful. And then that hand's going to push that hair up so it kind of comes over your eye a little bit. So it's like, right. uh, the left hand. Yeah. This hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I'm just so sexy. <laughs> okay. Not like you do at home. Same. And then this hand's going to bring that bra strip down like, shit. I'm just, my lingerie's falling off. <laughs> oh no. You know, that, that old story. <laughs> You're going to be able to do all this when you go home now. See? Right? <laughs> You'll be like, look what I can do. <laughs> This way. Perfect. So bending the right knee for me. Yeah. So scooch this way a little bit. I always start over too far and I don't realize until people go where I was. Like, oh, wait. <laughs> so pop that booty. Beautiful. This hand with the strap. Oh no. This hand with the hair. Pushing up. Eyes closed. Arch, 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 arch as hard as you can. Beautiful. And again, I'm still exposing for her, but now because I'm shooting on a darker background, everything else is going to fall into the shadows. Now drag that left hand down and we're going to close our eyes, breathing out, chin up, 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 deep breath. Oh yes, this is stunning. And look down to that shoulder there for me. Gorgeous. You're going to shit yourself when you see me. <laughs> oh, it's like in a, in a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Tell <laughs> from afar. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like, shit. <laughs> oh man, that was serious, but it was hot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do now is stand with your bum against the wall facing me this way. Pop it into whichever hip is easiest for you. And what you're going to do is you're going to stretch up the wall. So your bum's touching the wall and your head's touching the wall and then you can bring your arms back as well. And then when I, I'm going to be shooting this way, just to give you an idea. Then you're going to bring your hands down. Keep those elbows back as much as you can, it's kind of hard, but try. <laughs> And one hand's gonna move faster than the other. So it doesn't matter which, just like, kind of like, okay, you know, like you do. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna bring this down because that always looks terrible. <laughs> terrible. That's the one thing I always have to watch. Usually I didn't have curtains here, so this creates more shadow, so I have to watch for that. That's why I usually tuck it behind there. Hmm. I could get some sort of fancy, now it's dark. No, I'll leave it, it's fine. It will look ugly and it's okay. Fancy and twisty. I don't know. We'll go with it. We're going with it. We're going to make it work. All right. So stretching up. Beautiful. Eyes closed, mouth open, a tickle. Beautiful. Now we're going to bring the hands down, one moving faster than the other. And just kind of wiggling about. Beautiful. Feeling the chest. Beautiful. Looking out the window. Like, oh, where's that temple again? Beautiful. Look <laughs> down to that shoulder. Now bring your head off the walls, whoop, and look here to me. Beautiful. I love blue eyes on this wall because they're just like, bing. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Like this looks so good. She, she's gonna love it. Okay, so we're gonna finish. I said this was gonna be the last thing, but I lied. We're gonna do one more and it's gonna be on the floor actually. Um, because um, your outfit will match my carpets real nice here. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some laying on the floor kind of stuff because of the way the light comes in here. And also I made this like little patchwork of different rugs. Just kind of gives it like a Mediterranean kind of feel. At least that's what I call it. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> it's cool, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get you to come here. You're gonna lay down on your back like you do normally at home on the floor. <laughs> and you're gonna be kind of diagonal here. So your legs are gonna go towards the light and your head towards the radiator, I guess. Uh, with your legs, we're gonna take your left leg's gonna be slightly longer than your right, but still bent. So okay. not like that. Yep. And this one, you can, what I'm going to get you to do, you're just going to pick up your hips and just put a little more weight on the left cheek so it rounds up this bum cheek a little okay. bit. Does that make sense? Yep. Um, yeah. It's like you don't have to like turn sure <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other pose. Uh, but just like just shift a little so this bum cheek comes off the floor a little bit. Perfect. Then what you're going to do with your hand, you're literally just going to like bring your hair out everywhere and just kind of like lay out. Like, yeah, just lay on the floor. 
floor. <laughs> There's a couch and a bed, but I'm only on the floor. Uh, and okay. then, once I see what I'm looking at, then I'm gonna get you just kind of like move your hands around your feet on your body. The use. Okay. The use. The use. You know, like you do. And then when you're done, you can just like, suck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll bring okay. your head kind of in right between there. those carpets there. Yeah. Da -da -da. Beautiful. So we're gonna take that left leg up just a tickle. Beautiful, hands overhead in the hair. Shush in about, beautiful. Bring your right hand down, to, yeah, beautiful. Just like that, eyes closed, chin up a smidge. Beautiful, now we're gonna move the hands around, feeling our face, feeling our body. Beautiful, move your chin slightly to the left. And now look up at me. Uh, your lady friend is gonna die, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just an FYI. <laughs> She'll be like, the fuck did you do on Sunday? Beautiful, and eyes closed, chin up, deep breath. Beautiful, now can you have fancy ass nails? We're gonna take one and just bring it to your lip a little bit for me. Yep, gorgeous, like that. And like right here. Chin up a tickle. Gorgeous, eyes closed. Beautiful. And that is that, my friend. You did it. Yay. Now you can roll over and do the pose. That's right. <laughs> there you go, and ta-da. <laughs> Rotisserie chicken! That's, That's what we call that little number. Yeah. <laughs>